Well, the old Coke County Detention Center, vacant since 2005, has been sold to a company out of Dallas. Kayla Brown joins us now in the studio. Kayla, this could be an economic boost for Coke County. Greg, the facility is being repurposed as a secure data center, bringing an element of positive economic development to the county, all part of a larger plan to make Coe County a place where people can live and work. We've been trying to sell this facility for uh, the last 15 years. In 1995, the Coe County Detention Center was a facility for juvenile detention. That lasted until about 2005 and uh, it's been vacant ever since. It was intended to be repurposed as an immigration holding facility, but an earnest money contract held by immigration officials for the past two years wasn't approved by the federal government. So after 15 years on the market, the Coke County Detention Center is being repurposed as a secure data center. Wolf and Bar LLC out of Dallas is the new owner of the facility, bringing economic development to the county. We are thrilled to death to get this facility back on the tax roll. Uh, as far as economic development, it'll provide jobs, uh, and uh, that's the main thing we're interested in as far as promoting Coke County and, and building uh, our economic structure wherever we can. And this is the beginning of a larger plan to further develop the area. We are right on the precipice of, of getting more broadband established in the rural areas and uh, it's, I have, it's always been my contention that we can get, we have excellent schools in Coke County and we can get people to move to Coke County, Braun, Robert Lee, if at least one of them has a way to make a living. Located on Highway 277, the facility was officially sold last week and will begin renovation in the coming months. For News Connection, I'm Kayla Brown.